Alzheimer's disease is a chronic neurodegenerative disease, uh, which means that uh, it's a brain disorder that affects us and it is progressive as well as uh, gradual, so it becomes progressively worse uh, with time. The way that the disease works is that it causes a loss of uh, brain cells by affecting the uh, communication between the cells and it can actually affect us in many different ways depending on the um, area of the brain that is affected. The changes that we typically see with Alzheimer's disease, uh, it is important to note as well that they're not reversible. And another distinction to make is that it is not a normal part of normal aging. So the exact cause of Alzheimer's disease uh, is not completely understood. It's thought that uh, it's likely through a combination of genetic factors, uh, lifestyle factors, as well as environmental factors that all overlap together to uh, cause changes uh, in the brain that become gradually and progressively worse. So the main symptom that we uh, commonly see in Alzheimer's disease is memory loss. Some folks might report to us that they have uh, difficulty with remembering conversations or uh, certain events or remembering appointments. Sometimes they might uh, forget the names of uh, familiar people uh, that they know in their lives. There are other times where they might tell us that they uh, misplace objects around the house, uh, for example. Some folks can also report other uh, cognitive changes and they might tell us that they have some difficulty with, uh, for example, their judgment or their ability to plan and organize uh, certain things. Or there are other folks who uh, may have uh, changes in their personality or even in uh, behavior. So it really depends on which area of the brain that is affected uh, by the disease. So the way that Alzheimer's disease is diagnosed, well first it's through uh, obtaining information uh, directly from the patient but also from a family member or a close friend who can confirm uh, the symptoms and the signs uh, that have been observed about the patient as well as seeing how those uh, changes in their cognition or their symptoms are affecting their uh, abilities and their everyday tasks. It's very important for the, the healthcare provider or the physician to perform a complete physical examination, a neurological examination, and also to get some blood tests to rule out other possible causes of uh, memory loss or other symptoms that the individual uh, may be displaying. There are some uh, tests of memory and thinking abilities that uh, we can use in clinic as well which uh, further support uh, our suspicion of the diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease. And actually more recently there's uh, also been development of some specialized brain scans as well as biomarkers which uh, nowadays allow us to make the diagnosis with uh, even more confidence now than, than before. There are certain ways to help manage the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease and related uh, dementia, however, and, and those can also help us uh, maintain a good quality of life. There are two classes of medications. Uh, one is called the cholinesterase inhibitors and the other one is called the uh, NMDA uh, receptor antagonist, uh, which work by boosting the communication between the brain cells. And uh, those medications can show a uh, modest improvement in uh, some symptoms uh, related to the disease, like uh, symptoms related to memory loss or uh, behavior. The most effective way to manage symptoms related to Alzheimer's uh, and dementia, however, is to lead a brain-healthy lifestyle. So I always emphasize with my patients that what is good for the heart is also good for the brain. So I really highlight the importance of engaging in brain-stimulating activities to remain socially and uh, physically active, to eat healthy, to uh, manage their stress levels and to optimize uh, their sleep quality uh, because at, at the end of the day it is these kinds of lifestyle changes that uh, will actually slow down the progression of the disease and to uh, help them uh, maintain the best quality of life possible going forward. 
though there are certain risk factors uh, for Alzheimer's disease that we cannot control for, like age and uh, genetics, uh, studies have actually shown that we can actually uh, significantly uh, reduce our risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and uh, related dementias by managing and also preventing uh, chronic health conditions like diabetes, depression, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, by maintaining a healthy body weight, by quitting smoking, minimizing our alcohol use, uh, preventing hearing loss and also protecting uh, our brain from head traumas and overall maintaining a socially active as well as a physically active lifestyle. If you do have any questions about Alzheimer's disease then I really would encourage you to speak to at least your family doctor about it and they could uh, recommend referrals to a specialist like a geriatrician or a neurologist or if you're just looking for uh, some good resources out there for more information about the disease then I'd strongly encourage you to visit the Alzheimer's Society of Canada website.